Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I got this Xbox 360. It's not really mine, but it's uh, it's uh, the DVD drive doesn't work in it. Doesn't open. So I was gonna give a shot fixing it. Figure make a quick video showing how I do this. Um, nothing too uh, rocket science. There's just an Xbox 360. Uh, first thing you do is take off the the um the battery. This button here, this button here, it just lifts off. Hopefully, it showed up on film there. Um, then next, I'm gonna take off the face plate. And when I say face plate, I'm talking about this part here. Uh, it just kind of pops off. Get it going here. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I'm not like a pro at these or anything. I just have to have to kind of regroup. I don't take these apart very often, so I'll show you how to get this apart. Just get yourself a little uh, little jeweler's flathead screwdriver. Just uh, push out a little bit here and kind of just gently. Go down there, and as you can see, it's just coming right off. Boom, there it is. Hopefully, that showed up on camera. So, it kind of it's got clips along the front. Again, I just well, hopefully that just saw it on camera there. Um, next, I am going to take the main panels off. Now, there's a little uh, divot kind of on the front here this piece um what you want to do is also let's see if this will show up sorry about that i want to show you if you look inside these see those little filled in spots there's two right there and you can't really see them from very well from this angle but that's kind of gives you an idea just look on the surface you'll see these little filled in spots right there they look a little different you just push a small screwdriver in those areas and I'm going to apply a slight upward pressure on this back piece and you, there's some gray deals in here too you can kind of oh there, there it came up so they're around these little spots. I just kind of push. Try to get it to release. Eh, darn dog barking at something. Anyway, just don't force it too much. Just know that they're around that area there. around these dotted areas. And then somebody out there dog barking. Anyways, almost got that off. We'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to see what the dog was barking at. Anyways, uh, continue on. You just kind of gently lift on them. Maybe swing over to the side a little bit. Basically, all I'm doing is, whoop, there's one. That's uh, some noise in the background. There we go. Let me, uh, it felt like, I don't know if I'm going to show up on camera. See, there's like a, two holes there. I think I pushed right in there. Anyways, as you can see all these things got is little clips deals. It look, oh this one's broken. I don't think I did that. Anyways, this just has these little clip deals 
and basically you're just uh, pressing on the end of the hole to release these and anyways so it comes out so all I gotta do is now do the same thing on the other end uh, on this end there's also right there are more of those deals and I'm just gonna pause the camera while I take that end off okay I got the other end off I wanted to show you see like those little white filled in triangle things it seems like if you push in between them um, that seems to be the buttons are at you'll see when you try it out anyhow I've got both ends off next I gotta take the front face plate off Oh, I'm sorry, not the front face, but... See these little tabs? You just kind of like put your screwdriver in there and lift those up. I'll do a couple of them, and then I'll pause the camera and get the rest off. Kind of the trick is to apply pressure while lifting the tabs, which almost got it there. Oh, sometimes there'll be tape. Oh, I don't know if any of this is showing up. Sometimes there'll be a uh, tape right there it's a little safety seal so make sure you cut that or else it'll fight you all I'm doing is lifting these tabs and trying to separate it and uh, it might take me a few minutes so I'll be right back okay I kinda got it now you don't want to take it all the way apart see how that those tabs are there I just lifted each one by a little pressure then you get them all separated and then you want to stop you don't want to take it all the way apart um, because you got to flip it around to the back. And basically I'm going to there's see all these little see those two notches right there. And then there's like three or four of them. See those little notches right there? It says made in China just to I don't know if it's going to be your left, but just to my left of that. I like if you're reading it, that little notch right there. See, there's another one there just by that zero. And then there's one right there. You just put your little screwdriver in those and apply outward pressure. Um, not a lot of pressure, just to keep them from popping back in. I'll try to do one. See, I'm pushing out a little bit. Just push in. be gentle with it. There, one sound like a pop. There. Anyways, I'm gonna fill around with those. You get the idea. You just push the screwdriver in there, keep playing outward pressure, and just don't force anything. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'll be right back. Okay, finally got the top off. Um, one thing that might help is to figure out which side is attach to the Xbox and put that down um, maybe I could show you how to do, figure that out see the side that's got the um, just put your disk drive on the bottom there and that'll make the part that comes off on top that might help out a little bit another trick is uh, make sure your, your flathead screwdriver is uh, perfectly horizontal the flat part not twisted at all and um, for me, the hardest part was 
applying pressure while pushing the buttons. And it seemed to work best if I started at one end and work my way to the other. Anyways, uh, next uh, we're going to take out these screws here. And uh, I'm going to double, i got to verify the Torx bit. I think it's a, a T8. Here's what, here's what they look like. I just got to make sure that's the right one. Um, and I'm going to zoom in for you. Oh, it's going to be all blurry. I'm wasting too much time on there. Anyway, so much for autofocus and all that good stuff. Anyways, trust me, this one says T8. Let me uh, double check which screws I need to take off, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if I can get in here and try this. So, the easiest way to think of this, see the two center screws? get back and point at them. It's probably a little blurry. Anyways, look for the two indented center screws. Those two are definitely come out. You just take your Torx 10 bit, put it in there and take loosen them up. And you'll know because they're like really long. See they're really long screws. So just take these two oops take these two out and then the two on the edges that's the easiest way for me so six screws so again the, the center one and then the two uh, ones that are kind of like left and right of that center one you took out and same with the back there that center one and then the left and right and already zipped them out and you can just pick up your Xbox uh, I'm gonna take the screws out I guess don't lose those. And I'm going to flip this over. Just lift this off. Or not. So this button here. This button kind of can come out and stuff. So it was hung up a little bit there. Hopefully that showed up there. Let me go pick up my parts. Okay, at this point, you can take the DVD drive out. It just lifts out. Um, and on the back, you got some cables. Out of that, just get those two cables. Whoops, got those two cables right there. I'm just gonna pop those off. So set that aside, and I believe, yeah, this just should got four Phillips screws in each corner here. I'll show you. Uh, see right there. There's just four of those. Can't see it behind the post. Trust me, there's another one over there, and one right there. So I'm just gonna zoom those out. I'm gonna get my Phillips bit. Be right back. Okay, I guess I'll let you watch me that. Just get a regular Phillips bit. Side. That 
comes off there. Alrighty, let me stop and see where I'm at on this. Okay, so next I'm gonna, if this circuit board comes out, just push it back down. These little tabs holding it in can pop loose. But next I'm gonna flip it over and kind of just lift up on the metal part and press down on these plastic pieces. And then attempt to, there we go, get this off. Set that aside. Um, let's see, next, what I'm working on is uh, getting the drive door open. What's going on here is this has got kind of like a worm drive mechanism going on in it. Um, and there's a belt that drives this whole thing and that's what's slipping in there. Let me see. Let me pause this while I... I'm gonna, also this button should pop off. Yep, that button just pops off. I'm going to pop that off get it out of the way. And I think I'm supposed to spin a little wheel in here. Let me... Uh, play with this and I'll be right back. I gotta figure out how to get the drive open. Alright, I figured it out. I'm gonna bring this in for a close-in. So what's going on is, see this little electric motor and it turns, I don't know if you can see it, it turns a little wheel right there. You know, it's kind of, there's a bigger one, which controls this whole tray mechanism going back and forth. And if you can, I don't know if I can get in there. Okay, here, you can't, there's a little exposed part right there, and that's actually the belt that's slipping. And you can just take your little screwdriver, you can almost do it with your finger, but it, your finger's too big to fit in there. And you just start turning it, and it's actually, there's kind of a good shot of it. It's that little wheel right there. You just turn it, and when you're turning it, watch this, you'll see this go down and back. And I don't think I can get this on camera. Unless I can, I'll swing around this side and try it this way. Let me flip the camera thing around see if I can. That's all upside down looking from my perspective. I don't know if that's showing up. I think I'm actually going the wrong way. Let me go the other way. And I'm looking at that center wheel. There it goes. Well, you can see the drawer opening. I am turning it. Oh, this is all backwards. I was turning this little wheel. This little wheel down here. Oh, see, now you can reach in there and turn it. I turn it towards the word wording of the Xbox, and that opens up the drawer. Once you get it open, you should just be able to pull it. There you go. And here's a better shot of what I was doing. See right here? This is a belt that supposedly slips. And uh, I'm turning the belt, but you got to remember it's normally turned by this little motor here. And that's probably why it's slipping. But, uh... And yeah, that's essentially see what that's what makes the tray go back and forth. And so all you're gonna do now is once you get it open, you just take this belt off. Let's see if I can. And then I'm gonna clean this belt up. Um, I'm just gonna try using water, uh, maybe some. Uh, what was it called Dow dishwashing soap? I'll check the name of that. Um, it's pretty gentle, and uh, and then maybe get a Q-tip and clean these grooves up. You don't want to put an oil on there because it's slipping and that's kind of what's causing it. You could probably get away with lubing these gears up to help it travel easier, but it feels like it's, I mean, it's moving pretty easy. So probably all I'll do is clean this up and, uh, and then we'll see if that fixes the problem. Here's the soap I was trying to say. It's Dawn, I don't know, Dow. 
someone where they're always pimping the they're always saying how they're cleaning up the the birds and stuff and the oil spills anyways Dawn this I like Dawn Ultra it's uh, works really good it it degreases really well and it um it's very easy to wash off and that's probably their big the big benefit of using that so right there on the table here's my clean one now all I'm going to do is get some q-tips and clean those gears and then I'll be right back all right um all I did is clean it up and to put the belt on a uh, little trick I did was I just looped it around the little pulley I just looped it around this little pulley, put it right here, and then just move the drive because I'll turn that wheel and let it pull it in. Kind of like putting a bicycle chain back on. Um, so, all I'm going to do now is just put everything back together, which is the reverse step you just watched. So, I'll put it all back together and then we'll give it a test and see if it starts working. Some uh, little tips along the way of putting this back together. Um, you want to make sure remember that the DVD just sits in there but you want to make sure oops a little piece coming out here make sure the button it, it goes on the outside there and you want it lined up in that hole and uh, this it this whole button just comes right off if you were to pry it it'd pop off you just push it back on and again make sure that holes lined up and this sits kind of like on the outside of the player um, and then what I'm gonna do I get that little piece off. I think it's part of the door. These little doors break all the time. I'm just gonna leave it off. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I just gotta get the little. It's like a spring thing that's from that door. Anyways, uh, so I got the DVD player on. Make sure that button lines up. And then you just take the the top that has the screw holes in it, and it'll only go on one way. Might be lying to you. I wonder if I got the wrong end of this. Oh, there you go. Anyways, then flip the whole thing over. And the, the top sleeve kind of goes on the outside of this. Anyway, at this point you just drop your screws back in. And then you tighten them down. And then I'll flip the whole thing over. And I just uh, take the top, put it on there. It's got those little clips. Just push down. Same with the back. Just kind of make sure everything looks like it lines up. supposed to put the I think I put this on last these remember I said it's got the divots I think the divots I can't remember if they go to the front or oh yeah this is the front so I just put them these things facing the front and I don't think it matters which one goes which way oh it does Oops. Uh, see if I put it on or on. You know, one's for the battery. And I think I put it on or on. 
me take this one back off and see uh, if I can tell which one goes where. <laughs> All right, so if you look at your battery, you know, it's got this little post that goes in there. So it goes inside, you know, the little hole right there. So you want to get your your battery, you want to make sure you line up that hole. So actually this is really good um, in that there's only one way to do this. So on this one you don't have to, and it doesn't have a divot anyways. And then flip this one over. Pop that in. So this, let me see if this is showing up on camera. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. Then I'm just going to put the faceplate on. Pretty much done. And I had trouble with this little door thing, so I just left it off. Um, then your battery just goes back in. There it goes. And your battery just kind of sits on top. You got little rubber feet on the bottom there. So now I will plug that in and see if it works. Be right back. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Dog barking. Um, I just got it plugged in. I'm just going to push the button. I'm going to push it firm. Boom, it's working. Push it again. And turn it off. Alright, sorry about that. Somebody came to the door. Um, so that's about it. Uh, got the old uh, drive door working again. Uh, hopefully this video helps somebody out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. And thank you for watching.